we will show you how to paint human wizard from Nozer's marvelous miniatures. Hey guys, this is Nisa from Den of Imagination. I have a painting tutorial on basic level for you. It's going to be a human wizard from Nozer's Marvelous Miniatures. And it's been painted by one of our painters, Maciej, and narrated by Agnieszka. This tutorial is a basic level painting tutorial, so if you're new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. Now Agnieszka will guide you through the painting experience. Enjoy! Take German uniform color and round brush number two. Use it to cover the coat with one even layer. You don't need to paint all of it, paint only those parts that are easy to get to. If you will mix your paint with too much water and the paint is not covering the surface completely, wait for it to get dry and add another layer. It's always better to cover something with two thin layers than to paint it with one layer that is too thick. Change your brush for round brush number 0 and add some lining with emerald on the edges and folds of the cloak. For the next step, take Elf skin tone and put some of it on your palette. Then take round brush number 2. Paint the shirt with Elf skin tone. Don't worry for now about overpainting details or smaller parts. We will take care of it later. Here we can see that our first layer didn't cover the surface completely, 
so after waiting some time for it to get dry, we can put a second layer. Now it looks better. To add some shadows to the shirt, take sepia wash and round brush number 2. Add a little bit of water to make it weaker and more fluid. It is better to use more wash on your model so it can squeeze into gaps better. Don't worry that you will use too much. You can quickly clean your brush with water, dry it with paper towel and wipe out the excess of wash from your model. To highlight the shirt, take pale yellow and round brush number 2. Here Machi is showing the mist effect on the paper towel that we were talking about earlier. You can also try the color out on your skin if the brush is ready for you to use it. With detailed dry brush, cover shirt with new color to emphasize details. Now we are ready to add last highlight to the shirt. Take sunny yellow and round brush number zero. Mix your paint with water for it to be more fluid and transparent. Dry out the excess of it from your brush. Now gently paint the chosen areas.
pants and coat brooch. You will paint with violet color using round brush number 2. Remember to shake your paints well before you use them. Sometimes the pigments get separated from the medium and the colors is not strong enough. Mix violet with dead white to create a lighter shade of violet and with white brush number 2 use it to highlight pants and the brooch with dry brush. Next, change your brush for round brush number 0 and add some lining. For some details we will use blue-grey pale as a first color. For your comfort use small round brush number 0. After that, take silver grey and add highlight to the parts that you just painted. You can use the same brush. Thank you. 
All right, so continuing our work, take Chair Brown and run brush number zero. Use it for his shoes, belts, pouch, scabbard and every leather part that you can find. Next, take Umber Wash and wash it with it to add more shadows. Afterwards, take German Camel Pale Brown and round brush number zero, and with glaze and lining, add highlights on the leather parts.
For metal parts, use color steel as your base. To paint such small details, use round brush number zero. This paint is very liquid, so you don't need to mix it with water. Next, take silver and with round brush number zero, put highlights on metallic parts with lining and small dots. It will be enough to create an illusion of light. For gold details, use Glorious Gold. Next, cover those parts with sepia wash and use glorious gold again to highlight them. Now it's time for the skin. Take medium flesh tone and round brush number zero and cover the face and hands with it.
While we are waiting for it to get dry, we can paint the hair. Take chocolate brown and run brush number 0 again. While painting the hair, don't forget about beard and eyebrows. Now we can use one shade of wash for both the skin and hair. We chose Umber Wash. It will speed up our work a little bit. With round brush number 0, cover the surface of those parts with wash. Remember to wait a moment for wash to get dry before you will move to the next step. Now prepare two colors, medium flesh tone and light flesh tone. We will mix them together to create a half tone between one and another. Use it to paint forehead, nose, cheekbones and lips. Try to leave some parts unpainted because to create nice features we also need some shadows on the face. The same rule for hand. Cover only those areas that the light fall on them directly. So about the hair, take khaki color and run brush number 0 and add this color to make some lines on the hair. It will be easier for you to use the side of the brush. It's time for some final touches. Use black ink and round brush number 0 and paint eyes with it.
After that, use dead white and cover with it the whites of the eyes. Then, get back to black ink again and draw dots in the place of pupils. Try to be very precise. At the beginning, we cover the flames with blue tag. You can use for it a tape or any other material that you have and is convenient for you. Take blue ink and cover the flames with it. Now what's left is the base. Take Beastie Brown and White Brush. Draw brush the base. With silver grey, add another color to the base by dry brush as well. Let's go back to black ink for a moment. With small and thin brush, you can add some black lining between the segments for deeper shadows. I hope you guys liked this painting tutorial, I really like the finished results. We are really curious about your results too, so tag us, DNF Imagination, in your social medias and share your results with us. And meet me in the comments section. See you in the next one guys, bye bye!